Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is my first Cooking with the Gomez video. I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I make sofrito. Sofrito is a base for most Puerto Rican dishes and it's going to include all of the ingredients that I'm going to share with you guys today. Here I'm just sharing with you guys that I use already peeled garlic. I know a lot of people like to use fresh garlic, peel it from the clove. I use already peeled garlic just because it's a little easier for me and it's much faster. Um, so that's my preference. Now I'm showing you guys the ninja that I use to mix everything together. I love this thing. I have three of them in the house. I use some for shakes and some for just sofrito. So I will try to link that down below for you guys. Um, but here I am moving on to the ingredients. So I'm going to use two red peppers and three green peppers. I'm going to go ahead and remove all of the seeds from these. But again, it's preference. So if you like to add the seeds, I know some people that actually just throw the entire thing inside of a processor. It's pretty much preference. Do exactly how you would make it. Do exactly how you would make it. Make it the way you want to make it. It's just pretty much preference. I went ahead and I grabbed a bowl just to make things easier for me so that I can just throw all of my ingredients inside of this bowl and walk it over to the ninja once I'm done. I have a small cutting board so if I didn't do that everything would get piled up and I really wouldn't have any room to cut so that's why I went ahead and grabbed that bowl. It just makes life so much easier. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just continue to cut all of my peppers um, and make sure that all of the seeds are removed. But again if you want to add the seeds that's up to you. I do want to stress that this video is by no means saying that this is the right way to make sofrito. Um, in my opinion, there is no right or wrong way to make it. It's preference. It's how you like it. Whatever you like inside of your sofrito, then that's how you're going to make it. If you want to add ingredients, if you want to take ingredients away, if you want to use fresh ingredients like fresh garlic, just make it the way that you would make it. Um, if there's something that I'm using that you don't eat, you can just take it out or you can substitute it for whatever you want. I'm going um, to use a sweet or a half of a sweet onion. I don't put a whole lot of onion in mine. Um, I feel like it makes the sofrito really mushy. So I just use half of an onion. A lot of people use Spanish onions for this or just the big white onions. I prefer the sweet onions just because I like the taste of sweet onions. Fun fact, I could actually eat an entire sweet onion raw just like that. I put a little bit of vinaigrette over it and I can just eat it raw just like that and it tastes amazing. So I love sweet onions, but feel free to use whatever onion, you know, you that you want to use. Um, next, I'm going to move over to these little, um, I honestly have no idea what these are called. These are just the small peppers. Um, some of them are sweet and some of them have a little bit of a kick to them. I actually prefer the ones with the kick. I like my food to be a little spicy, especially um, my meat. So I don't mind the ones with the kick, but I know a lot of people, I almost cut myself. <laughs> I know a lot of people that prefer the sweet ones instead. So just uh, make sure when you're shopping for these, you know, you ask if you don't, you know, if it doesn't say it on there, just ask to make sure you're getting the sweet ones and not the ones with like that little kick to it because there are some that are spicy. Um, and if you can't do spicy foods, you definitely want to take this out altogether. But I'm adding these little peppers because I like that kick. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add the little green ones. And then we're going to go ahead and move on. And I love, love, love adding sofrito to just about everything. I add it to beans, pastelillos, yellow rice, sancocho, soups. I mean, just about anything. I love sofrito and I add it to everything. So this mixture that I'm making here will be enough for about three tubs. And I'm going to go ahead and freeze those things as well so that I have enough. Um, here I'm just showing you guys the culantro that I bought from Publix. This is also known as recao. Publix never used to carry this or at least I could never find it. So I used to make sofrito without this. But ever since I started making it with it, it just reminds me of my abuela so much. It smells just like her. So I'm so happy that I found it, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use about three containers of the recal and I'm just going to cut it up and I'm going to add it to my bowl. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move on to my cilantro, which I'm going to show you in about 2.2 seconds. <laughs> um, so here is the cilantro and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the stems off. Once again, if you're someone who adds everything, even the stems, that's preference that's up to you I just remove the stems um, just because a lot of times the stems get caught inside of my ninja and it's hard to mix um, so I just remove them but feel free to use it 
And I'm going to just throw everything inside of my Ninja along with some extra virgin olive oil. I do know some people who use water. I feel like water really waters down the uh, Sophie Dawn. I don't like it watered down. I like mine's really thick. So I do add some olive oil and then I'm just going to mix it all together with all of my garlic. If you don't like a whole lot of garlic, you don't have to add. I add the entire jar of garlic just because I love garlic. I love the benefits of garlic. I love the way it tastes. And let me just tell you, this smells so good. If I could share with you what this smells like, if this was like smellogram and you can smell, you would just run to make this because it smells so good and it makes food taste so good as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get these garlic containers. They're all empty. This is what I buy my already peeled garlic in. This is going to fall now. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. Now because this is all greens and there's some vegetables, it does go bad if you leave it in your refrigerator for too long. And you can tell when it starts to go bad. So what I do is I like to freeze it. Now, I know there's a lot of, you know, research and things about freezing plastic, so if you are against freezing plastic, feel free to just get a glass container. I'm just using what I have for now, and some articles I read said that there really was no problem with freezing this kind of plastic, but again, if you want to use glass containers, just go ahead and use a glass container. But I just mix it in here, and this is how much it makes. It makes two of the big containers, and then the small one I use for my refrigerator, just so I can have one on hand and ready to go when I'm ready to cook. But that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up. Also, share how you make sofrito in the comments. Stay tuned for more cooking videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.